If I look at the next item, 7 for Esteban, he is not in the goals. Should have been, but he isn't. But because he's not in the goals, he shouldn't be on the assessment. I look at Cortez. Um, when I look in the goals, hmm, I don't see him. So he should not be in here either. Debaca, he's in there. All right, there we go. Now we got somebody who's right, but again, wrong level of cognition. And then Coronado, he is also in the goals. And he is also, though, at the wrong level of cognition. When I go on to problem 11, it says in one paragraph, describe how the structure of Spanish society in New Spain was justified by natural selection. Well, I do want them to analyze the different levels of cognition. And um, you might say that, yeah, that, that matches up in terms of content, but I'm not really analyzing it. I'm more like justifying it or giving the reasons. And so I would say there that that is at the wrong level of cognition. Um, finally, if I get to the last one, your own words describe why Hispaniola was significant. I have an X here and an X here because that is exactly what the goal number two said I should do. So that's one side of it. The next part is making sure that each goal is represented somewhere on the assessment, uh, whether it's fully, partially, or not represented at all, and then whether the cog level of cognition is correct or incorrect. So if I look at the first goal, students will define the terms in their own words, right? Clearly, some of these terms, many of these terms are on there. Um, I don't have society on there, although it does come up here. So I could say, yeah, yeah, that goal is fully represented. I'd probably accept partially too, but I think fully is a better answer. <clears throat> um, and then, unfortunately, though, it's at the wrong level of cognition. If I look at goal number two, we said that that is fully on there and it's at the right level of cognition, right? Because I have a question that asks them to do exactly what the goal is targeting. And I look at goal three, evaluating the moral actions of the following figures, Pizarro, De Soto, De Baca, De Leon, and Coronado. Well, I have some people on there, not all, so it's partially represented, but at the wrong level of cognition anyway. And then analyzing the different levels of society in New Spain, again, that's partially covered, um, or you could, I would even accept fully covered here. Um, because this prompt here doesn't require me to talk about all the levels uh, or even really that there were multiple levels and so on. It, they could give me an answer that doesn't really meet the goal at all. Uh, it's close to the right level of cognition, um, but I would say it's not quite there. So either I, I would take partially or fully here. I'll try to make it clearer on the exam, but boy, there are a lot of different ways you can interpret stuff. <laughs> so I will always be thinking of what you might be thinking and ask you to clarify your ideas. Now, we haven't talked about reliability or bias yet, but the real things that I want you to look at about reliability are overall length. Too long, too short. Um, in this case, it actually is a bit too short because it doesn't hit all the goals, and therefore I am not going to get a good estimate of what, whether or not my students have met them. I'm also going to be looking for open-ended questions that lack structure about how long the question should be or the answer should be, um, what counts as a good answer or not, how much time they should spend on it. Uh, in other words, questions that are really open-ended that will give me a whole bunch of different types of responses that I might not know how to deal with. So I would say something like, um, Items number 11 and 12 are open-ended, too subjective, and need more structure. Finally, uh, the last thing I really want you to look at is whether or not there are any issues of guessing. Uh, and guessing we will call a stability reliability issue, and items 1 through 5 have a strong 
guessing factor. We'll talk more about this this next week, but those are the things I'm really looking for. Um, finally, we're looking at bias. We're going to be looking for two different types. We'll talk about this in two weeks. Penalization bias and offensiveness bias. In other words, are there any questions in here that might penalize or offend people? Well, question 11 kind of does both. It's jack of all trade. One, saying that the order of Spanish society was justified by national selection is offensive to a lot of fair-minded people. Uh, so we'd say offensiveness in number 11, natural selection is justified. And we'd also say that it also penalizes uh, penalization in number 11, natural selection may not be understood by many students. In other words, that is a science concept, and even though students may have come across it, there's no guarantee. Uh, throwing ideas like that into a question that isn't really about that, unless that was the point of what you talked about, but it's not in the material, so I don't know why you would, and it's kind of offensive, so I don't know why you would. Um, you will penalize students who don't know what it is. In other words, they might know everything about uh, Spanish society and what caused it, um, but they may not be able to answer your question because they don't know what natural selection is. That's all there is to it. I hope this is helpful, and if you have any questions, of course, let me know.